Do you want your Windows PC to finally look modern and beautiful? With a unique taskbar, a functional top bar, and a clean custom theme. You might think you'd need to switch to another OS to get that look, but actually everything you see here is possible on Windows, and it's easier than you think. In this video, we'll show you six powerful steps carefully chosen from thousands of tools to give your Windows the upgrade it deserves. And no, this won't be just another rain meter setup you've seen a hundred times. We will change everything from the classic menus to the desktop, plus we will give your mouse cursor a unique look, and we will even change how most apps look. And the best of all, it won't take more than 10 minutes. By the way, we're unknown tech, and we've built tons of unique Windows setups, so you're in good hands. Let's not waste time and dive right in. For step number one, I will show you a really unique app called Yasp Reborn. This app will allow us to install this very clean and minimalistic top bar, which provides you lots of access to useful information like the weather or your download speeds. To begin the installation, head over to the GitHub repository linked in the description, but before downloading anything, make sure to follow the next important step first. You will actually need a custom font for this tool to work, but don't worry, this step is super easy. Just scroll a bit down to the requirements and click here to download the fonts. In your downloads folder right, click the zip file and select extract which will open up this menu. Now just click on browse and select a custom folder to store all the files. Next, open the folder, select all the files, right click and choose install from the context menu. Now all the files will be installed at once. With that out of the way, you can go back to the GitHub page to install the real tool. Go to the releases by clicking here and then just scroll to the bottom of the page and click this link to get the installer. And now to all of those people already getting ready to ask, is this a virus? No, it's not. I have run it through my antivirus and the tool is also known in the community. Just make sure you get it from the official site. So don't worry and run the file in your downloads folder. You may encounter a system warning after this step, but this is actually nothing to worry about, as this happens to most tools that come from a lesser known developer. Simply click more info and then run anyway to proceed. In the first installation step, you need to choose a folder to store the files. Click this arrow and select the folder of your choice. We recommend you to create a new folder for every tool we present in this tutorial. Now click next to finish the installation. Search for the tool in your start menu and launch it to get a quick preview of the top bar in actions. As you can see, it's still missing a few finishing touches. So let's enable a custom theme to take it to the next level. To install themes, open up your system tray and right click the ASP icon. Before we get the theme, click here to enable the auto start. Now go to get themes. As you can see, there are actually tons of different options. But for this video, we will go with the minimal glaze style which fits great to the color theme of the setup. Hit install and then ignore this message and also this one. With the theme installed, the top bar is now almost finished. If you want to change the weather location to your location, you will have to do some work. Again, go into your system tray and in the menu open config. Now double click the config file and open it with the notepad. After that click on edit and then on find. In this search window search for location. Now scroll down until you see location with a city name. Replace it with your desired location, for example New York. To apply the settings just save the file. I'm a big fan of the minimal look of the taskbar. It's clean and the added functionality is genuinely useful. And what's also cool is that you get this really cool shot off menu. And the best thing about all of this, the tool only takes up about 25 megabytes of RAM and uses just a mere 0.3% CPU as shown by the Windows Performance Monitor. This is quite good compared to other tools that do the same thing. Now it's time to completely redesign the Windows interface using custom themes. This will give almost all your apps modern Apple style window control buttons. The color scheme will also shift to a clean bluish tone that looks amazing. On top of that, your mouse cursor will be completely overhauled with a stylish new design, including even a smooth custom loading animation that fits the aesthetic perfectly. For this to work, you will have to patch your system. Because of this, we recommend you to set a restore point so you can always go back to a working system with ease. To create a restore point, open the Windows search menu and type restore, and then select this app here. In this menu, make sure that protection is turned on for all of your drives. If one is missing, you can click on configure here and enable it. To actually set the restore point, click on create. A window will appear where you can enter a name for your restore point. After that, simply click create again to confirm. If you want to restore, just click here and then select the restore point we created. With that out of the way, let's download the Ultra UX Theme Patcher tool, which you can get from this site, linked in the description. Again, we've already scanned the file for viruses and didn't find any issues, so there's no need to worry. Double click the file in your downloads to start the installation. Then just keep on clicking next and everything will be installed easily. But we're not done yet. Now we'll download the actual theme from the website linked in the description. By the way, you can also get all the links and more detailed information to this setup on our website, so check that out. Here, click download to get the theme now. After that, open the folder in your downloads, go to Windows themes and copy everything by clicking on the cut tool here. 
Now you have to navigate to the resources folder with this file path and then just open the themes folder. To finish the installation, paste the copied files here. To apply the theme, go into your settings and navigate to the appearance settings. In there, click on themes and now we can finally apply the theme. Just click here. I'm a big fan of this tool because it changes a lot of the Windows design in noticeable ways. Unlike many other customization tools, you'll actually see and feel the difference every time you use your PC. Plus the cursor just looks really cool. Also as it is a Windows theme, it runs with Windows and therefore doesn't really need much power. But now let's install some other important changes. It's time to upgrade your boring wallpaper to something unique and minimalistic to make your PC look organized. First let us bring some organization by hiding all your cluttered desktop icons. Just right click on your screen and then navigate to view and click on hide desktop icons. Now to make your wallpaper really unique we went with the gold standard for live wallpapers. Wallpaper engine. You can get it from Steam but unfortunately it will cost you $5 but in my opinion it's worth every penny as you can do so much with it. Now run the application to set up your wallpaper. You can find the wallpaper we used in the tutorial by going to discover and searching for Aesthetic City. Select this wallpaper and go to the right side of your screen and hit subscribe here to get the wallpaper. I really like the retro pixel aesthetic of this wallpaper and the colors fit really well to the top bar and the window icons. And before you are typing, man why isn't there a free alternative? You can also get lively wallpaper for free where you can install tons of live animations too. I just find wallpaper engine better to use. If we look at the performance, wallpaper engine takes 0.35% CPU and 10 megabytes of RAM. Now with a clean wallpaper and a cool theme and a top bar your PC already looks really cool but we are still missing a big step, the taskbar. With this next tool called Winhawk, we will not only give your taskbar this really cool dock like look but we will also change the start menu and even the notification menu so it fits perfectly to the rest of your setup. To install the tool head to the link in the description to get to this page where you can install the tool. Again go into your downloads and run the .hc file to install Winhawk. By the way here is just another great example how the custom theme looks. Click on next to start the installation and on the second page also click on next. Now in this window click on browse and again choose a custom folder to install the app in. Finish the installation by clicking on install here. The first thing we will mod with Winhawk is the start menu. Open up Winhawk and go to the tool that is called start menu styler. Click on details and here on install to set up the mod. Don't worry of this message. All tools were checked carefully by people on github so accept the risks. To choose the style of your new start menu click on settings and in this menu select rose pin as the style. Also it's important that you hit save to apply the changes. If you don't like this style you can also choose from tons of other different options but this just fits the best to our setup. Now let's change the taskbar to a dock and give the system tray a transparent background. For that click on details on the tool called taskbar styler. Again click on install to get the mod and ignore this message. Before we continue with the setup you'll need some custom code to achieve this unique look. I've uploaded everything you need to our website, just click the link in the description, scroll to the bottom of the blog post and download the folder containing all the necessary files. Then go into the downloaded folder and open up the file called taskbar styler with your notepad. Just copy all the code in here. Go back to Winwak and click on advanced here, scroll a bit down, remove the code in this space and paste all of the code afterwards. Don't forget to hit save and load to apply the changes. As the last modification we will change the notification menu. In Windwalk go to the explore tab and click on the tool called notification styler. Again install everything like before. For this tool we will also need some custom code so go to the advanced tab in Windwalk. Now go back to the files folder and open up the other file with the notepad. As before just copy all the code in there. Again remove the code from this section and paste our custom code here and don't forget to hit save and load. Let's just appreciate how much cleaner and interesting your windows menus look now. This tool is just incredible. What's also amazing is that this tool is super performance friendly because it almost needs no CPU power and only like 1 or 2 megabytes of RAM. Now your setup is almost complete. We are just missing this one last step to get this really cool matching pixel clock for your desktop. To install widgets on our home screen we need a tool called rain meter and yes I know I said this isn't just another rain meter setup but the pixel clock matches just too good to the rest of the setup so we have to get it. Go to the website linked in the description and download it. After the download just run the .exe file to start the install. The next steps are super easy. Just click next till the installation is finished. After completing the installation head back to the video description and click the link to the pixel clock widget download page. From there download the widget. Then go into your downloads and run the file. Rainmeter will install everything for you, now just click on install. To place the widget on the home screen we need to load the skin first. We can do that by going into the system tray and clicking on Rainmeter there. This will load this menu in which we will have to open the clockbit folder, then the clock folder and this folder. Then select the clockbit.ini file and hit load here. I think this small tweak really completes the entire look. 
It blends in so naturally, it feels like it was always meant to be there. Also performance wise, it's not a huge impact as it takes only 0.2% CPU and 180MB of RAM, so most PCs should be fine. Now to really round off the setup, we will install some last tweaks for some apps so the theme matches in most of your apps. We will start off by installing a theme for Chrome, which gives a blue tone to the whole app. With the link in the description, you can get to the page where you can install the theme. Now let me also show you how you can turn your VS Code from this boring color way to this color way, which also matches great to the overall aesthetic. Just click on the settings icon in the bottom left corner and go to themes and then navigate to color theme. Then just click on abyss here and we are done. If you want more detailed videos on the customization of apps like Discord or VS Code, please let us know in the comments. But now let's take a moment to rewind and see everything we've accomplished. From a minimalistic, modern and functional status bar to completely new UI elements like these window management icons, we've fully transformed your PC. You now have a clean dock-like taskbar with a unique start menu and notification center. On top of that, we upgraded your wallpaper with a sleek, retro-inspired animated design and a custom clock widget. Even apps like Chrome now come with a touch of customization. And let's not forget the custom mouse cursor, which ties the entire aesthetic together. We'd also love to hear your ideas for future videos. Feel free to share them in the comments. If you need further assistance or just want a chill place to hang out, you're also free to join our Discord linked in the description. And for a detailed explanation, check out our blog post. And if you enjoyed this one, consider liking and subscribing to support us in bringing you more high quality content like this.